this is in the, a member of what the Scrofulariaceae plant. This was an annual which has now dropped its seeds. It looks nothing like this when it's in flower. It has beautiful purple flowers. They're very delicate. They're lipped like sage flowers. They're in the figwort family. And so this is what's left of the flowering stalk. Obviously was successful at making mature pods and the seeds were then basically ejected when the pods opened. So next year, if there's enough rain, we'll have more um, figworts here. Um, some years, there's very little rainfall, and you might think that that was um, devastating for these annual plants, but actually, the seed of the natives is able to stick around in the soil and be viable for decades, if not centuries. Um, and one thing that's good about this so-called stochasticity or unevenness in rainfall is that the weedy species that have become more uh, prevalent here over the years, such as the mustards. Here's a, a mustard plant right here. Mustards and the Eurasian grasses, which we'll see more of, don't do well during dry years. And if they don't reproduce, they don't come back. So in fact, some years that are best for this ecosystem are the years that are dry, during which time the established native plants, even if they're small seedlings, the perennials just continue to grow and they then can establish themselves. In a good year, the seedlings of the natives are competing with the seedlings of the non-natives and the natives tend to lose out.